Okay, now that we've got you interested, we're gonna head back and talk to the projectionist to find out exactly what makes all this high-definition television stuff so cool. Okay, we're here with Chris. Chris is our projectionist. Chris, tell me about the machine that we're using here. Uh, the machine we're using is a Barco uh, R12 ELM, extreme light machine is what they call it. It's, uh, it's the DLP projector, which is a Texas Instruments DLP chip, which is actually you know, thousands of tiny mirrors that reflect the light. And there are three of these chips reflecting red, green, and blue onto the screen. Uh, this particular projector is 12,000 ANSI lumens, I believe, which makes it one of the brightest projectors on the market right now. Okay, so we've conquered this whole video thing. We understand how it works, why it works, and why it is so cool. Let's head back with the audio engineer and find out about this 7.1 surround sound fan. Hey, we're here with Frank Pepilardo, the head engineer for HD Planet. Frank, what went into getting this all going today? Well, we started to uh, prepare for the show back in January, uh, selecting the music and uh, recording the music. There's uh, two aspects to the sound of this. We have a soundtrack album, and then we also put together elements for the surround sound. Instead of just doing a stereo mix, I took a lot of the songs and mixed them to uh, seven discrete channels so that we could take certain things and send it to a subwoofer, or we could also send things to the back of the hall, to the side of the hall, so people would get a real surround sound experience and uh, feel like the sound was coming from everywhere. Well, the thing that's kind of cool is when you see the video images on the screen and you see the waves crashing on the beach, you're going to hear those waves coming from the front and the back. You'll just see her be engulfed and you'll kind of feel like you're there on the beach. If you thought that was cool, just wait. There'll be plenty more like it when Digital Domain premieres later this year.